Okay, so today we're going to take tampons, dip them in some candle wax, and set them on fire. No, oh, no, 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 sorry, we're not doing that. That's somebody else's thing, not mine. And anybody that dips tampons into candle wax and sets it on fire, well, I'm not too sure I'd want to be hanging out with them. We'll just leave it at that. But what I am going to get working on is... I've had this uh, model engine block, a uh, gentleman by the name of Ray out in Oregon uh, has CAD modeled it and was kind enough to share the model file with me to see if it was possible to 3D print it. Uh, surprisingly, you know, this block was modeled to be more of an exact representation of the engine than it was to be 3D printable, uh, but surprisingly enough, it prints perfectly fine with no support whatsoever and it's it's just amazing that it actually comes out the way it does now the next step is you know of course we managed to get it to print now we want to see if we can cast it this is a very very difficult casting to pull off uh, I've actually had it sitting on the back burner for quite some time because I expected it to fail uh, it's quite a bit of time and materials that I'll be investing into this casting as an attempt at it. You know, so, and I do expect it to pretty much fail. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that it doesn't. And I'm going to do everything that I can possibly think of, you know, to try and get it to come out. But even though it's so, uh, so risky and so difficult, I, I'm just going to chalk it up as it's probably going to be a failure. Uh, I hope to see that it fails the way that I expect it to. Yeah. But if it actually does come out, then it means I have more learning to do about the lost uh, PLA casting process. Um, some of the difficulties... Okay. Some of the difficulties with casting this is uh, it's very thin walled for one and two is all the internal passageways that this block has I've made up a larger uh, block section to give you an idea of you know, what kind of passageways are inside this block and basically we have uh, you know your your lifter bores so there's passageways there. This is where your valve guide goes in. So you have those passageways there. Your intake ports coming through the block here and here. You know, your valves come down through it. Uh, and that's, you know, the exhaust port. This one here actually wraps around the block. Comes in, well, exits out here comes all the way around the block to where the valve's at so you have this very long curved uh, core passageway inside it that's probably going to be a nightmare and then to top it all off well this block actually has an internal water jacket to it as well yeah and it's you can see even in the uh, the scaled up model that's uh, gets into some pretty small areas for the investment to have to get into and then in the quarter scale model it's you know basically uncastable even if you were using the lost wax process I would not attempt that in lost wax either so what I'm gonna wind up doing is I'm gonna cut the cylinder sleeves out of it and that'll open up the inside of the block then I'll take wax and I will pour liquid wax into this area up here to fill it in. I'll come across the deck and pour wax across it to thicken it up. And then at the bottom of the block, I'll fill in this area with molten wax and then thicken up the bottom of the block also in this area with wax. That way I don't have all these little areas where the investment can break off and fracture real easily. Uh, by eliminating them, my chances of getting this casting to actually come up, you know, come out correctly, probably improves at least 80%.
but then I'm still stuck with these long thin cores that'll be running through for the exhaust passages you know through the center of the block here one wraps around the front here one wrapping around the back here up to the valves the intakes I'm not too worried about since they're pretty much a straight on shot uh, pretty short in length fair amount of diameter to it so they'll probably be okay lifter bores will probably be okay um, there is a small thin core passage coming down at the back of the block that I'll probably just totally fill in as well as the one for where the oil pump goes into the block I don't know if you can see the yeah you can see it going down in there this is where the oil pump sits into the block so I'll probably fill Eh, I may not fill that in solid. I might. Oh, it has another passage running off to the side that goes up to the oil pressure sending unit. So I probably will go ahead and fill that in. Uh, Lost PLA is terrible with blind holes. And what a blind hole is, if you can see these cavities down in here, where the investment will basically just be sticking out in the midair with only support on the back side. It likes to fracture those blind holes, the cores for them off. They go floating around and really ruin the part. So I may go in and fill some of this in with a little bit of wax to create uh, more of a fillet and a curve in there. Yeah, and hopefully take some of the, the stress off the, uh, the investment itself by giving it a, a small uh, soft void area. For the PLA to expand into. So we're going to give it our, our best shot. Um, this video that I'm shooting right now is just a, like a primer for it and letting you know what I'm going to be doing. I'll talk about it more as I get into it. This was a, a, a failed print and you can see right here that is the exhaust port wrapping around the cylinder. There's another one at the back of the block here. It wraps around the back cylinder. And what's nice about this one is it actually contacts the uh, back of the block here. So I can bore a hole in the casting, or in the PLA printed part, to create another connection point for that internal core to give it more support. And then I can weld it back up in the casting later. So that's a, that should be okay. That one won't be bad. The front one, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that with it because you can see there's just a fair amount of space between the exhaust core and where the water pump impeller would be sitting at the back of the block on this. Uh, it's kind of strange the way it is, but that one I might be able to do on this side. The other thing that I could possibly do is put a wire, a very thin wire, through the port itself and attach it to two spots on the casting, or on the PLA printed part. Uh, and that would give the internal core more support and hopefully if it did break, uh, I might wind up with some small flashing but the passageway would still be intact and the flashing could be you know, knocked out or chipped out or whatever and still have a viable casting. The other thing that concerns me is the thinness of the casting itself and the uh, print, you know, there's no infill in between this wall and, you know, the inside wall and the outside wall, so that's solid plastic. That could also fracture the investment and there's not too much I can do about that. Uh, I may skim coat the outside of it with something to you know, give it a little bit of a buffer, but not sure yet anyway this you know casting will likely be a fail but i've had it sitting here for so long now you know i just have to make an attempt at it give it my best shot and then see what i come up with you know if it comes out if it doesn't come out just try my best okay so that's going to be the end of that uh and i will be back shortly showing the uh sprewing and gating arrangements uh, and put a little more thought on how I'm doing things as I'm working through this project and well that's it see you later
Oh, I know I got to tell you. I actually managed to keep my hands and elbows out of the video so you could see what I was doing through most of it. And what I found on my new video camera is I can control it with my smartphone and actually have a video of my video. And there's a little bit of delay in it, but yeah, I can see what I'm doing, see what the camera is looking at, and I don't uh, stick my elbow in your face anymore. So, all right, talk to you later. It actually proved to be a little more difficult to remove than what I was imagining. I got one out. Yeah, I just broke the deck. <laughs> Definitely not as easy to get out as I thought. Hmm. I have to fall back and rethink this. I tore a chunk out of the top of the block. I can probably just fill that with wax and get it to work. 